buckle in, strap up, whatever you need to do. This video obviously contains spoilers for the Fantastic Beasts series. I know it came out like two years ago. I still know a crazy amount of people who still have not seen those movies, so if you haven't, this contains some crazy spoilers. One of the biggest mysteries that is circulating around the fandom right now is who is Credence Barebone really? At the end of Crimes of Grindelwald, Grindelwald reveals to him that he is not Credence Barebone, he is not a squib, and he is not a Lestrange, but he is in fact someone named Aurelius Dumbledore, supposedly Dumbledore's long lost brother or some other relative. Which I believe is not the case at all. I want to make it clear that I came up with this theory within days of the first Crimes of Grindelwald teaser being released. At the time of that first teaser being released, I was in London with my best friend and we had the privilege of seeing Cursed Child in the Palace Theater in London for our Sweet Sixteen. Now, that first teaser for Crimes of Grindelwald coincidentally dropped on the same day we were seeing the show. In that teaser, we saw the first glimpse of the movie and we found out that we had a new character who was just an unnamed Maledictus. That was it. We did not know she was Nagini yet. This was in March of 2018 when the first teaser was released. While we were seeing the show, one of Draco's lines in part two really stood out to me, especially since we had just learned what a Maledictus was in the teaser that day. Act four, scene four of part two of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, Draco states, We were capable of having children, but Astoria was frail. A blood malediction, a serious one. An ancestor was cursed, it showed up in her. You know how these things can resurface after generations. A blood malediction. A serious one. An ancestor was cursed. For those who aren't aware or for those who forgot, a maledictus is a curse that affects only women and it is a blood curse that uh, later on makes you turn completely into a beast. For example, Nagini. The blood malediction passes through the bloodline but it can skip generations. Now, Draco's wife Astoria died from a blood malediction, but we don't know the specifics. It kind of confuses me because obviously Nagini turned into a beast because, you know, she's Voldemort's snake. But Astoria says that she was only frail, we know that she was sick for a really long time, and then she eventually died of the illness. It's just so odd to me because if you compare Astoria's case to Nagini's case, who is the only other maledictus that we know of, Nagini turned into a beast and stayed one for a long time. Currently in the Fantastic Beast timeline, we are in 1926, which is the year that Tom Riddle, who later turns into Voldemort, was born. The series is predicted to end in 1945, which is the year that World War II ended, and the year that Voldemort graduated from Hogwarts. Astoria Malfoy's maiden name is Greengrass, which you may recognize, or may not. Uh, her sister Daphne is in Harry and Draco's year. She's mentioned in Chapter 31 of Order of the Phoenix, and she's a minor character, but Astoria is two years younger than her. Or to stumble upon Astoria's Harry Potter wiki page and scroll down to her list of relatives, you will see the Malfoys, her sister Daphne, her son Scorpius, and an unnamed ancestor. Now, this unnamed ancestor is obviously the woman who passed the blood malediction down the green grass line to where it affected Astoria. If you hit the unnamed ancestor's Wikipedia page and scroll down to where it said that she suffered from a blood malediction and you clicked on that hyperlink, it would take you to the page about blood maledictions. And on it, it would give you its known victims, which were Astoria Malfoy and the unnamed maledictus from Fantastic Beasts 2. No sight of Astoria Malfoy's ancestor. Just those two. This was before the Nagini reveal, this was like way back in March of 2018. Stuff has changed on the wiki since then. Once the Nagini reveal had been released and before someone realized that it wasn't necessarily canon yet, if you went back and you clicked on the unnamed Maledictus on that same page, who was the story's unnamed ancestor, it would take you straight to Nagini. This all leads back to Credence. This brings us back to 1926, where young Credence Barebone is struggling to find his identity. You cannot sit there and tell me that Credence and Claudia Kinn's version of Nagini did not have some kind of chemistry on screen. Especially if you watch the deleted scenes from Crimes of Grindelwald, 90% of them are only Credence and Nagini hanging out, cuddling, being outcasts together. They obviously have a strong bond from being stuck in that circus together. In order for the curse to be passed down through generations, the woman obviously has to have a child before she turns into a beast permanently. I strongly believe that Credence Barabone is actually Credence Greengrass. I'm assuming that he's going to have a child with Nagini that is going to grow up to give birth to a child that would give birth to Astoria and Daphne Greengrass. Obviously, there's a really big loophole here. What if Astoria's ancestor is some other Maledictus? But how unlikely is it that the only two Maledictuses, Maledicti, however you pronounce it, in the entire series that we know of at the moment are unrelated? Especially since it is a curse on the blood that is passed down through generations by blood. Namely, one of the sacred 28 wizarding families who are the 28 wizarding families who are all strictly pure blood. To give you an idea, the Potters aren't even a part of the sacred 28. 
There are only 28, and they are all related in some way. The Blacks are related to the Malfoys, the Malfoys are related to the Lestranges, so on and so forth. Now you're probably wondering, if Credence is actually a Greengrass, why are we being told that he's this Aurelius Dumbledore? It's because Grindelwald needs him to believe it. Grindelwald can't move against Dumbledore because of their blood pact, but he can convince someone else to move against Dumbledore for him. But wait, what about the phoenix? Credence didn't touch it. Grindelwald formed the phoenix and handed it to Credence. I think it's because Grindelwald has a blood pact with Dumbledore, therefore he shares blood with Dumbledore. He was able to conjure the phoenix and hand it to Credence to make him believe that he is part of the Dumbledore line, that he does have some reason to move against Dumbledore so that Grindelwald can win the war. In conclusion, Credence is actually a Greengrass, not Aurelius Dumbledore, and if he does end up with Nagini in the end, I believe that Nagini is actually the ancestor of Astoria Malfoy who dies of a blood malediction. I'll be linking my original Twitter thread where maledictus is spelled wrong in the description, along with all of my Wikipedia references and anything else that I used in order to figure out this theory.